to create the uh, cover sheet, just go to the View tab and click on Sheet to make a new one. And we'll just choose the same title block and click OK. And if we're going to put a rendering on there, we have to make that first. So I'll go to uh, one of my camera views. If you need a quick refresh on how to do that, I'll just go to my main floor. Actually, I'll go to site for this one. So I'll go to the site view. I'll go to the 3D view tab. Click on camera. And then one click to place the camera, the second click to point it. It'll take you right to that view. And then you can use the uh, crop editing tools here, the grips on the frame and refine your view a bit or use the uh, navigation wheel just to do some little orbits zoom in and out when that's ready you've got two options for rendering you can just render right from this view within the, <coughs> within the project so you can click on the little teapot at the bottom here and um, I'll just do a quick one here with the draft settings so just select render That'll just take a minute or two. And when that's done, if you want to use the rendering right from the project, just remember you have to click on Save to Project. When you do that, then you'll see a section in your browser for renderings. So I'll click on Save to Project, and I'll just call this my exterior rendering, and I'll click OK. And then I'll turn off the rendering dialog box, and I'll go to that new sheet. And then, as I said, in the browser, I'll see in the rendering section that rendering there. And I just have to click and drag it in. So I'll place it near the top of my sheet. And initially, when it comes in, you'll see that it has a drawing title below it. This can be turned off by just clicking on that view, clicking Edit Type. And then just right here in the Type Properties, just change Yes to No. And now, if you want to have some text, that doesn't look like a drawing title, you can just go to the Annotate tab, click on the Text Tool. Remember, you have to use the text type here, but I'll just type in my exterior, maybe I'll say Southwest View. So that's the method that would uh, allow you to use a rendering that you had in the RBT file in the project. If there's something exterior that you've maybe rendered on the cloud, or just another image <laughs> that you want to bring in for reference. You just have to go to the Insert tab and click on Image. Navigate to that image, click Open. And then once you've clicked to place it, just use the grips to set it to the right size. And then you can do the same thing with the Text tool. Annotate tab and go to the Text tool and then just give it a name. And then for the cover sheet, when you want to list the table of contents, um, there are more elaborate ways to do this with tables in Revit, but it's enough just for our assignment to just use the regular text tool and then just make a little text box and then you can just list the drawings.